The Bible is a story about how people lost their honored place with God and how we can again enter his blessed presence. The opening question of Psalm 15 is an invitation to live with God. O Lord, who shall sojourn in your tent? Who shall dwell on your holy hill? If everyone knew better, this is where all people would want to be. But not everyone can be there. God has high standards for friendship, a blameless walk, a passion for truth, a controlled tongue, total disapproval of sin, sacrificial integrity. We learn that only the self-denying righteous person can live with God, and we seem to be disqualified. But the psalm assures us that the question is not theoretical. He who does these things shall never be moved, verse 5 says. And the rest of Scripture shows us that there is, in fact, a single person who fits the description of Psalm 15. Jesus came to perfectly fulfill the law that regulates a right relationship with God. Jesus has no peers for righteousness, truthfulness, long-suffering, purity, and commitment. The gospel is all about Jesus swearing to his own hurt and not changing, as verse 4 puts it. When Christ came into the world, he said this, as recorded in Hebrews chapter 10, Behold, I have come to do your will, O God, knowing full well that it was God's will to crush him. Jesus is the blameless person of Psalm 15. And this is how the psalm can come to include us too. Because Christ has been raised up to God's holy hill in victory, so can his children. In Christ, we too can speak truth in the heart, verse 2. We can honor those who fear the Lord, verse 4. We can please God, and we must. To joyfully live with God, we must sincerely strive to live like him. And when we do, God gets all the credit. If we think that we can applaud ourselves because of our obedience, we miss the point of David's question. Who can dwell on God's holy hill. No sinner deserves to dwell on God's holy hill. It's all of grace. One day believers will be able to see that they have been made able to dwell with God. C.S. Lewis put it like this, there will be no room then for vanity. We will be free from the miserable illusion that is our doing. With no taint of what we should now call self-approval, we will most innocently rejoice in that thing which God has made us to be. Psalm 15, a psalm of David. O Lord, who shall sojourn in your tent? Who shall dwell on your holy hill? He who walks blamelessly and does what is right and speaks truth in his heart, who does not slander with his tongue and does no evil to his neighbor, nor takes up a reproach against his friend, in whose eyes a vile person is despised, but who honors those who fear the Lord, who swears to his own hurt and does not change, who does not put out his money at interest and does not take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be moved. 